Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping the future eighth race from the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club on Saturday afternoon, August the 6th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California race of the day. Let's take a look once again at race 8, 5.30 p.m. Pacific post time. This is the Clement L. Hirsch Stakes 8.5 furlongs on Del Mar's Cushion Track. Grade 1, fillies and mares, 3 years old, and up race for a stakes purse is some $300,000. Tenders number 4, Switch, number 1, Freedom Star, number 6, St. Trinians, and number 3, Zazu. If you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, Clement Lang Hirsch was an American businessman and a prominent thoroughbred racehorse owner who co-founded the Oak Tree Racing Association. Born in St. Louis, Missouri to a very successful family of retail merchants, Hirsch moved to California as a young man during World War II. He served with the United States Marine Corps and was part of the Guadalcanal campaign. Clement Hirsch purchased his first thoroughbred racehorse in 1947. A rarity in the racing industry, during his more than 50 years racing horses, Hirsch employed only two trainers. He first hired Red McDaniel, and after he decided to move to Las Vegas, he hired Warren Stoot, who remained with him for more than 40 years. Member of the Jockey Club, as an owner, Clement Hirsch was successful with a number of horses imported from South America, among them the Colt Figanero, who won the 1969 Hollywood Gold Cup, set a world's record for a mile and a half in winning the Del Mar Handicap. He was also successful with the Philly Magical Maiden, who won the 1991 Hollywood Starlet and the 1992 La Vergenne Stakes. In 1993, Magical Maiden won the Chula Vista Handicap at Del Mar, a race that track officials would rename to the Clement Hirsch Handicap in his honor. Hirsch retired Magical Maiden to broodmare, broodmare duties. She is the grand dam of the 2009 Kentucky Derby entrant Papa Clem, owned by Hirsch's son, Bo Hirsch. The name Papa Clem stems from the name that Clement's Hirsch grandchildren called him. Here in the Saturday feature, number four switches hit the board in each of her last five starts with four of those efforts, including back-to-back -back circle trips in her fourth and fifth races back, also qualifying as power runs. Jockey Joel Rosario and trainer John Sadler send her to the post. They fit the board with 64% of more than 200 entries saddled as a team to date. Number one Freedom Star, six to one shot. Pace profile leader in this stakes field racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the poly track. It's all back to back to back power run wins in her last three starts. Race eight summary, number four switch tops the contenders list, which also includes number one Freedom Star, number six Saint Trinians, and number three Zazu four one six three in the eighth from Del Mar, the three hundred thousand dollar grade one Clement L. Hirsch stakes. Bonus long shots, Charlestown. Race number six, the five to one shot. Number four, Alley is the boss, drops in class by five units, is the overall speed leader in this field, spurning at tonight's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. Presque Isle Downs, race five, the eight to one shot. Number two, Clyde Valley, speed figure spurning at or about today's distance of five and a half furlongs on their cushion dirt track, which are a Equivalent to the favorite, number seven, Gary D. So handicapping from Del Mar on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you to please bet with your head, not over it.